It's about community engagement, talking to small businesses, giving them the encouragement, giving them the support, giving them the advice. That's what the LEP does and it's really good at that. It generates opportunities which change lives. I think they're informed, local, and very constructive. Good for Gloucestershire. It's innovative, it's original, and it's motivated. Ambitious for Gloucestershire. It is this focus on making sure we have very higher employment rates and, and skill base. It's important that the LEP has the role of being the centre of that economic activity, being in touch with what's happening and the way in which we need to make sure we've got jobs for the future, that we invest in our young people. When I went to go and speak to ministers, say, look, we need these millions of pounds for this cyber centre, I was able to take someone from the LEP with me, and they had that, that heft, that credibility that they represented local businesses. And that made a big difference to the, to the pitch and the sound of our voice. What I was particularly impressed about it is it's gonna give help to new, small, emerging businesses. It's a dynamic, interesting, and supportive organization. The thing about G First and the left is that it fulfills the government's idea that business should have a real say in how funds are allocated to help our county grow. And that's exactly what's happened. They are focusing on the issues which need to be focused on in order to preserve Gloucestershire as a wonderful place to live uh, and also put a prosperous place. We've got some fantastic local businesses, um, large and small, but also it's a great place to come and live and to work and to enjoy yourself. And it's the diversity. I, lo I love the countryside, but at the same time, we've got lots of facilities uh, and lots of, like I say, cutting edge technology industries. It's wonderful, absolutely marvellous. Every part of Gloucestershire is different. So you've got the rural areas, which mine is particularly identity. You've got the Forest of Dean, which has its own particular identity, and then you have the urban areas of Cheltenham and Gloucester. And they are very different and very distinct. There are many things that are special about Gloucester. It's got a fantastic history, and we've got some of the loveliest people in the world. I can get on my bike, I can head up onto the scarp and see some of the most incredible views anywhere in our country. What the left have done, I've been able to consider the business community principally, jobs, investment, uh, success of business, success of the county as a whole, uh, and brought it round into one and then considered where, which areas need help, and that's the real uh, advantage. I think the LEP has got a lot of um, a lot of influence there. I think they've got a lot of opportunities to actually help businesses, not just businesses, but help uh, maintain and in increase prosperity in my constituency and across the county. There have been two really important projects. First is the Growth Hub a really important new innovation near the REU in Sarancester. One is the Gloucester Transport Hub, which I suspect will probably always be known as the new bus station. The new uh, college campus uh, in Cinderford, so uh, Gloucestershire College got a fantastic new campus, um, really top-notch, 21st century, state-of-the-art facilities. I was very clear that part of my vision for what I wanted Cheltenham to be was this cyber hub, this tech hub. The LEP bought into that vision. And then there's Agriculture 491, the Ag Tech, both at the RAU and Harn Hill. And then the next one, which is really exciting, is going to be the regeneration of the railway station. And again, G First Lep has been the vehicle to provide the funds for things that are going to make a huge difference. We've got some fantastic local businesses, um, large and small. I mean, I, I suppose in a way there's a danger of taking it for granted. But with a little bit of help up from the left, uh, we can be even better than we are now.